Oh my god, look at the size of that scroll bar, right? They, they're gonna go through this. You're not gonna see that junior for the rest of the day, right? They're gonna come out and they're just gonna have like key value pairs in their eyes because that's all they've been looking at. Hey everyone, Luke Cook here for SSW TV and today I want to talk to you a little bit more about ChatGPT. So we at SSW love ChatGPT. We use it every day and it saves devs a huge amount of time. But we want to share with you some specific examples of how we are using it. So maybe that you can incorporate that into your daily work uh, works tools as well and save yourself a bunch of time. So. One of the first great examples that we use it for, especially some of our junior devs, is sort of sifting through the docs. Now, one of the junior devs might come to, to us and say, hey, you know, look, I, I'm using a .NET uh, C Sharp dictionary to store these things, like, store these records. Do you know whether a dictionary sort of respects the order that I add these records in uh, into the dictionary or not? And, you know, traditionally, the seniors would be like, Timmy, I don't have time, go and read the docs, right? So, all right, let's see what that looks like. And they go, C Sharp Dictionary, right? And they go, uh, yep, Microsoft Docs. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh my God, look at the size of that scroll bar, right? They, they're going to go through this. You're not going to see that junior for the rest of the day, right? They're going to come out and they're just going to have like key value pairs in their eyes because that's all they've been looking at. So they're trying to find an answer to a very simple question. Does it respect the order that you add records to it or not? They could read all of the docs or they could go to chat GPT and they could ask the question, does C sharp dictionary or does a C sharp dictionary respect order? And let's see what it says. No, it doesn't. It's an unordered collection. Great, okay, uh, it's implemented this hash table. If you need to maintain the order, it gives you a couple of options. So what would have taken a junior dev, you know, anywhere from sort of five minutes to five hours to find the answer to this question, they can get in a matter of seconds just by asking ChatGPT. It's really good at sifting through that huge document store and getting you back the bits and pieces that you actually care about. Now, another really good time saver is actually with uh, generating some of the code, some of the sort of, you know, boilerplate code that you might need for a project. So imagine that you are building something and you are inter interacting or, or consuming a third-party API. And so, you know, you go to that website or that, that API's docs and they give you a Postman collection or something along those lines. And they're like, yeah, here you go. This is what you, this is the endpoint. This is the data you'll get back. And what you end up with is this huge big JSON object. Now, you want to be able to, you know, put that into .NET as, as strongly typed classes because you're not a monster. Uh, and so you might have to, you know, previously go and write all of those things by hand. Well, with ChatGPT, you could just get it to do that for you as well. So if we go and have a look here, I've just found some random sort of fake API um, website here, and it's given us this big JSON object of a list of users. So if we just copied that, and we go to ChatGPT, we could say, generate me C Sharp classes from the following JSON and just paste that in. And let's see how it goes there. All right, so with a single command, we have now generated all of our C-sharp classes, which we can just go and dump into our project rather than having to have written them out by head. Now, this is a very small uh, JSON object, but you know, imagine how much time that would save you when you're talking about very, very large JSON payloads that are coming back with deeply rooted nested objects. It's just a massive, massive time saver. Now, we have a rule for ChatGPT cheat sheets, which you should check out. So uh, this is the rule here. And what we're actually doing is we're creating cheat sheets specifically for different, uh, you know, niches or industries. So we have a general cheat sheet, but the one I want to show you today is this dev edition. So this has got a lot of really great tips on how you can save time with ChatGPT um, across all different sort of areas of being a dev from writing code to debugging to even documentation. It's great at doing documentation as well. Uh, strongly suggest you check it out, download it, pin it up on your wall and, uh, and just save yourself a huge amount of time and, and you know, knock off early for a change. This has been Luke Cook for SSW. I'll see you next time. Thanks.